Okay, so good morning, good afternoon, good evening sa inyong lahat depending on what time you're watching this video. Uh, this video was originally meant na isang mahabang video sana covering a lot of different ways to journal. Uh, kaso, nung ginawa ko na siya, narealize ko medyo uh, magulo pala <laughs> kung ganun yung ginawa kong sistema. It was easier and better to just make it into a multi-part series. So that being said, uh, for the next three or four videos, we will be focusing on different ways that you can journal your trades. Okay, I will take you through uh, the software or app na ginamit ko or nagamit ko na over the years na nagustuhan ko. So, marami akong trinay, no? Uh, so, hopefully, because of that, hindi na kailangan i-try lahat, di ba? Kasi yung mga, itong mga i-recommend ko, mga na-try ko na, nagustuhan ko na, inagamit ko over a prolonged period of time. Uh, yung papakita ko today, uh, ginagamit ko pa rin. Okay? Ginagamit ko pa rin, but in Forex, in uh, PSC, I actually use a different journal these days. But in Forex, ito yung paborito ko. Kasi, mas bago ako sa Forex, so, uh, mas marami akong visual na inaral. But, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, let's start ng maayos, no? So, today, we'll be talking about journaling your trades using Trello. Uh, so, Trello.com, yung website niya. If you don't know what it is, essentially, Trello uh, is an app or a program that allows you to display yung uh, board nyo. So, ang tawag dito is a board. Yung board nyo in Kanban fashion. What's Kanban fashion? Kanban fashion means you can move from left to right. Diba? Nung mga cards nyo, signifying na, ah, okay, ito dapat na sa section na to na, ito dapat na sa section na to, and so on and so forth. Ah, uh, I usually uh, see people using Kanban with teams kasi it's easy to identify ano yung nagawa na, ano yung hindi pa, and so on and so forth. But uh, I customize it, kumbaga, para magamit ko siya as a trading journal. Now, bakit ko gusto ang Trello? Ano ang upsides ng Trello? Yung Trello kasi, madaling mag-post ng uh, charts. Kita mo ka agad. Nakikita nyo naman, nag-iwan ako dito ng sample, no? Nakikita nyo, nakapost agad lahat ng charts. Then, at the, bo at the bottom of each chart, uh, pwede ako maglagay ng uh, counting notes. Okay, I'll show you how to do all of that later. And then, I can also leave cards. Ang tawag sa mga bawat square or rectangle dito sa Trello is a card. I can also leave cards in between to help me keep track of what's going on na do sa hawak ko. Okay. So, kaya ako siya gusto, kaya ako siya gamit sa Forex kasi madali kong nakikita yung mga charts. So, if I'm trying to study different patterns, if I'm trying to study uh, certain structures, I like to see it like this at a glance. Diba? Um, rather than, uh, let's say you were using Excel or you were using a different type of journal wherein you still need to pull out the pictures or the images one by one. Dito, you can have it all at a glance. Then, if I wanted to, ah, okay, naalala ko tong trade to, parang ganito. So, I can just click on the picture, di ba? Tapos, may kita ko na yung malaking picture niya. Ano ang downside ng Trello? Ang downside naman ng Trello is it's not gonna do the math for you. You're gonna have to do the math yourself. Uh, meaning, kunyari, sabi mo, 30% na lang ng position mo natitira or nagbenta ka ng kalahate. You have to take note of that because Trello is not Excel. It won't automatically deduct an X number of shares for you just because you said na nagbenta ka. Okay? 
it's not gonna count your profits. But on the flip side, you can control kung ano yung mga data na ipinapasok mo. Kasi kapag nasa Excel ka na, ano pa nga ba yung point na pinasok mo lahat tapos hindi ka pa magpapasok kung bagkano yung kinita or tinalo mo, ba? But I know for some people, detrimental yun eh. For the longest time, it was for me. Parang nakaka-apekto siya sa psyche ko kapag nakikita ko, oh crap, natalo ako ng ganitong amount. Ay, napanalo ko ganitong amount. Lang dapat ganito. So, I created a way na I can journal effectively while avoiding the information na hindi ko gusto at the time. Okay? Kaya ako napunta dito sa Trello. Now, paano ko pa ginagamit ang Trello? Okay? So, start tayo dito, no? So, mapapansin nyo, laging from bottom to top yan. Bottom is the oldest entry. Top is the newest entry. If you want to switch things around, pwede. You just drag and drop. Drag and drop. Drag and drop. Kayo bahala. Okay? Pwedeng pabaliktad. Pwedeng ano. But ako, this is how I prefer it. Uh, dito ako nasanay. Now, the way I track my trades, number one, is uh, I take a screenshot of yung chart at the time na pumasok ko. Pumasok ako. Then, I usually note kung saan ako pumasok. Here. Okay? Then, sa title, ang linalagay ko is date of entry, where I entered, and where my target is. Just so, kapag katinignan ko lang dito really fast, okay, I entered here, my target is here, and so on and so forth. Okay? Next, uh, dito sa baba, uh, pwede ka maglagay ng notes kung bakit ka pumasok, ano ba yung nakita mo? Was there a breakout? Consolidation ba? Kung ano pa man din yung tawag mo sa mga setups mo, if you, if you call your setup the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Unite Whatever, that's completely fine. You can put it all there. Or, uh, the easier way that I found is to create a label. So, dito sa label, you can actually uh, write a name. So, kunyari, yun nga, Mighty Morphin okay, Power Ranger. Okay, save. Then, you can put a label onto your card that shows na, okay, ito yung setup kung bakit ko siya pinasok. Ito yung dahilan kung bakit ko siya pinasok. Okay? Pwede nyo sabihin na uh, tawag ito, may insider tip ka or because uh, it was AOTS or because it was an Ichimo, uh, Kumo breakout and so on and so forth. Put it all there. Tapos, be as detailed as you can. Obviously, hindi ko na ginawa dito sa notes ko, no? but you can be as detailed as you can. Kunyari, price has been uh, consolidating between pesos 0.80 to pesos 0.84 for the longest time. I'm looking for, for blah, blah, blah. Okay? Blah, blah, blah. Pwede. And then, whenever you want to look at your notes, you can just refer to the card and all your notes will be there. Tapos, dito sa card mismo, nakalagay kung may notes ka ba. Kunyari, itong card, wala siyang notes. Diba? Meron siya image, kaya mayroon itong paperclip kasi nandiyan yung image. Eh. But otherwise, it's just may bubble dito. Ibig sabihin, nag-iwan ka ng notes. So, if it's something that you can refer to when you go back to consult your notes, kung ano nga ba talaga, kung nag improve ka ba, kung may nakikita ka ba, bakit mo to ginawa, and so on and so forth. Now, I like the labels because I can immediately see from just a card, kung bakit ako pumasok sa trade na to. Now, kunyari dito, I will say na, okay, on May 28, 2001, I sold 30% of my position at 0 0.88. You don't have to say 30% of position. You can say uh, 5,000 shares. So, for example, pwede ko sabihin dito na I bought, uh, kunyari lang, 20,000 shares. Kunyari, ah, uh, hindi ko na minat ng todo yun, ah, alam ko mali. So, kunyari dito, instead na sold 30% of position, kunyari, uh, sold uh, 6,000 shares. Pwede ganito. It's up to you. Uh, ako kasi nasanay ako sa percentage ng position. Uh, I like just rounding off. It's easier for me to remember. Uh, but that's just me. Nakasanayan ko lang yun. I know some people count by shares. So you can do it like that. You can do it like this. It's totally up to you. Then I just keep track of it from here. ba? So kunyari ito. Dito, I sold another 40% of my position. So, nandyan na naman. Yung chart, bakit ako nagbenta? Nandyan yung target ko. ba? Tapos, nalagay ko, ilan na lang yung natitira. Then, dito, nahit yung trail stop ko. Ganon din. 
di ba? So may picture din ako ng chart, nahit yung trail stop ko, I'm out. I'm out of the trade, I'm done. Then dito sa taas, I just uh, put down a result. Uh, whether it's a win or a loss, then ilan yung total win ko. So 3R is just a shortcut for yung risk reward, di ba? So if my risk reward was 3 is to 1, kapag nanalo ako dun sa trade, then obviously it's 3R. Uh, this can change depending on, kunyari, ganito, partials ka nagbenta. Obviously, pwedeng magbago to. Diba? Pwede, kunyari, you left a runner, meaning nag-iwan ka ng maliit na position after mo mahit yung first one, two, or three targets mo, then this will change. So you have to calculate that yourself kasi yun yung isa sa mga downsides ng Trello. Okay? Ngayon, pagka may ganito na, alam ko, natapos na yan. So kunwari, I wanted to take a new trade of Vita, uh, isipin nyo na lang kunyari, bago tong card ha? then I can just create a new card on top of it, knowing full well na anything below this, is done. Anything above it is what's currently going on. Okay? So, kunyari, ito, gumawa ako SSI. Kunwari lang, again, uh, let's say, pumasok ako at 1.26 here, kasi nag-breakout siya for me. Okay, naglagay ako label breakout. I can put down whatever notes I like. Okay? Then, I put my target. Okay? I put the date, same as before. Pero since wala pa nangyayari dito sa trade na to, wala pa siyang kasunod sa taas. Wala pang kasunod na picture. Wala pang kasunod na kahit na ano. Okay? Now, do you have to keep pictures only kapag may ginawa ka? No. Kunyari may interesting na nangyari sa chart, you can post another picture. You just add another card. Okay? Blah, blah. So, sabihin natin, naglagay ka na picture dyan. You just put on top of uh, the previous entry. Then you can keep note. Para lang, uh, you can, ang tawag ito? you can follow what you're doing easier. Okay. Ako, I like doing it like this, nagkataon lang, but sometimes, kapag may interesting talaga ako nakikita, I will note it down. And then finally, ito, uh, ginawa ko dalawa lang, para lang makita nyo rin na, kunyari, ito, entry, 745, target was 870. Dito, nagkat ako. Okay. Kunyari, dito ako pumasok, nag-breakout, ito, lumubog, feeling ko, di natutuloy yung breakout, so kinat ko, kunwari, Tapos, as I said, ito, imaginary lang to, ha? hindi ko sinasabi ito, toong 0.6 negative R yung kinita ko, ay yung natalo ko. But, malalagay mo rin yan dyan. Then I put a red uh, label on it to signify natalo siya. Okay? I'll explain more kung bakit may label yung win and losses in a bit. But the last thing that I wanted to note was kunyari ito, na-close na ko na in trade. Di ba sabi ko, uh, you can keep track of your uh, some of the things that you can do during post-trade analysis is to just note what the chart or what the stock has done mga five days after uh, i-close mo na yung trade, di ba? So dito, pwede mo rin lagay na note na after five days, chart has continued to consolidate in the area where I exited. Then you can add as many notes as you like, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that's another thing. That's That makes it really easy to keep track of everything, to put notes on everything. Okay? Now, bakit ako naglalagay ng mga result nito? Kasi, I don't keep yung mga finished trades ko dito. Kung mapapansin nyo, dito may label, may label tayo, ongoing trades. Pag tapos na ako sa isang trade, kunyara itong Vita, tapos na ako nito, I will move list to uh, my finished trades. Okay? My finished trades. Tapos kunyara ito, tapos na rin, I will move list to my finished trades. Okay? So, I tend to keep them in alphabetical order. Okay? So, ganyan. So, when I go to my finished trade section, here, may kita nyo, nandito na. Okay? So, what I do is I keep a tally of my total R. Okay? Or strike rate. So, all of these cards, okay, kung mapapansin nyo, you can right-click on it, copy, create card, then you can just move it here. Hindi naman mahalaga kung saan ko sila ginawa, eh, kung saan nang galing yung trade. Okay, copy, create card. Then I move it here. Now I can keep track. Okay, I have one win and one loss. Sa one win ko, I got, I got 3R. Sa one loss ko, I got negative 0 0.6. So up pa rin ako total of 2.4R. So the way that I do it is after 30 trades, I will total this up. Then I will 
include sa title sa taas, kunyari, uh, total na kinita ko was 12 R, kunyari. Okay? Kaya R kasi, di ba, uh, when we risk something, hindi dapat fixed yan eh. So, kunyari, per trade, we're risking 1% of our portfolio. Okay? Meaning, dapat at 12 R, kinita natin 12% of our portfolio at least. Kasi yun yung risk natin per trade. Hindi naman random yung number na rinalagay natin kung magkano pinibili natin bawat position, eh, di ba? Kung ilan. They're fix lagi yan. Okay? So, kunyari ito. After 30 trades, kunyari nalista ko na lahat. Then, this gets moved here. Kunyari, I'll create a new list. And then, this goes here. And this may ipon lang siya. Tapos, ko kunwari, may gusto ko ulit trade yung Vita, uh, Vita, I can put this back sa ongoing trades. Kasi meron na naman akong bagong gustong gawin doon. Then here, I can always keep track of my strike rate after every 30 trades. Yeah, pwede nyo rin lagyan ng date. So, kunyari, this was from 05, 01, 2021 to, kunyari, uh, 08, 23, 2021. Kunyari lang. Pwede nyo lagyan ng date. That way, you can keep track of everything. And it's all very visual. It's all very pleasing. Hindi siya gaano nagiging emotional. At least not for me. Kasi everything is very easy. Walang blaring red sign showing you, oops, blah, 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 negative, negative. Walang ganon. Diba? You keep track of everything. You can see your strike rate. Dito, pwede nyo rin sabihin na, oh, after ilang trades, 30 trades, ilan yung green ko, ilan yung red ko. Then you know, ano yung win rate nyo? Ano yung strike rate? Diba? And so on. And that's how I use Trello to journal my trades. Okay, if you're a very visual person, I highly recommend Trello. There's a reason why I'm still using it. Okay, um, it's really nice. It's really efficient. It gets you bare bones na mathematical data. That's true. But for visual data, like accumulating charts, kung nabasa niyo yung newsletter, I was talking about building a chart database. Dito automatic na. Napagsama niyo na yung chart database saka yung trading journal nyo. Kasi may kita mo eh, ito trade breakout to. After a while, you gather a lot of breakout trades, you can look at them all. Meron ba silang commonality among them para doon sa mga nakasucceed? Ano yung mga nakikita ko na pare-pareho? Meron ba ako nami-miss? Meron ba ako tinitrade na breakout na hindi talaga breakout? And the way you do that is by building a database of charts. And this one, sa Trello, automatically the database is there. Whereas if you use mga Excel, uh, Edgewonk, or any other journal, um, Usually, the images are stored in a different database na kailangan nyo pa i-click and so on na tumatagal. Dito, uh, at a glance, kita agad lahat. Okay? Then, you can see here, if we go back, kunyari nga, Vita, we wanted to trade it again. Nandito na siya ulit. Then, we can just arrange it again alphabetically and so on and so on. Okay? And that's it, no? I hope nakatulong sa inyo to. And I hope you give Trello a try. Okay? Uh, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, I would really appreciate it if you hit that uh, hit the like button and maybe subscribe to my channel. It really helps. Okay, and with that said, uh, good luck and happy trading.